Hi, this is Deborah Quinn with Pastry Swan Bakery in Palm Desert, California. We are going to show you how to make edible flowers for cakes. We're going to start by making some European fondant rolled icing flowers. He's rolling out a little bit of a peach fondant that he's made. He's taken a white and put a little bit of peach color in there. And this is our marble table. It works very well, so otherwise you might need something matte or um, cornstarch underneath to keep that from sticking. And he's made basically just cut it, made a roll like this, and he's just taken even pieces and cut little strips there, little pieces from his strip. And he's rolling them into basically a, a middle of the flower. He's going to mold the flower around this base right here. So it's a very thin tip on the edge there. Now he's taken these pieces and made just small little discs that he's going to use for each petal on the rose. Using a spatula to smooth out one side of the, the fondant disc. And he's basically made a very thin, thin side of it using his spatula there. And so he's taken one of these pieces and he's just molding it around that piece that he's made. So if you can see here, we're thicker on one side and very thin on the other side. This can also be done with just using a small roller as well, but his preference is using the spatula. And so he's molding them opposite, one on each side, very carefully smashing the bottom thicker part as the base, using the thinner part as the top of the rose. They're beautiful edible flowers that are made petal by petal, basically any color that you decide to do those with. And it just takes practice. The thing about these edible flowers is if it doesn't turn out just like you want it, you can smash it and start all over again. <laughs> but this one is beautiful. It's like the real thing. So that's our edible fondant rose that we're going to place on the board here. And we're going to next demonstrate using a Italian ring buttercream. Um, frosting for a rose. So we're going to make another edible flower. This is sunflower out of our Italian meringue buttercream frosting. It's very, very simple as well. Um, I'm using my, our bag with the tip that is just basically a flat tip that has a little bit of a curve on it. The best way to do it is pipe it right onto the cake. That way you don't have to move it. If you decide to make them ahead of time, what you want to do is pipe them on a board and then put them in a the refrigerator to cool down so that way you can take something, a spatula, scissors, anything to place them. But while they're soft, definitely onto the, right onto the cake is the best way to do it. So I'm just going to start with some long strokes going through the middle and out. Just basically a round circle. And then when you've got, you've got your round circle, you want to just give it another layer, just a little bit shorter. And just kind of pull out, let the, let the petal just kind of fall down. Just a little bit shorter so you can see your bottom layer. So that's the second layer. You can see we have a bottom layer there. And then just some short ones up on top. Okay, so we finished piping. We've got three layers, beautiful, nice, thick sunflower there. And what I have here is a little bit of a chocolate fondant. I'm just going to take little pinches off of there. And I have some that I've made here. And basically the ball, flatten it out a little bit. And what I use for the tool is just basically a little bit of a grater. It gives it that ridge top. There's a lot of tools in your kitchen that you can use to do that. And we're going to take our, our centers here and just basically set that little base right on top, press it in just a small amount, and you've got yourself a beautiful yellow sunflower. Thank you so much. That was our How to Make Edible Flowers for Cakes. And this is Deborah with Pastry Swan Bakery, Palm Desert, California.